Uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Takul Mahachi. I'm a fourth year Bachelor of Pharmacy student at Nelson Mandela University. And I'm just going to share a bit of my experience as a student and other things pharmacy related. Um, so the first question there for me is what has my experience been so far as a pharmacy student? And uh, I have to say it started really rough, it didn't start well. Uh, first I had been out of school for two years before I started university, so I was very rusty. And I l had a very tragic loss of someone close to me the day I was supposed to go to you do my orientation. So I went there late. So I was rusty and I was late and I was grieving and yeah, it was not a good combination of things to have at that time. I didn't start really all well my first tests, so I just, I passed, I did okay. But uh, I think I just channeled everything that was going on in my life and I just put it into my work and by the end of the semester I was doing very good. I was doing much better than I ever expected I would at university. And my second semester was even better. I think I was coping well with being at university. I did really well. Max wise, my second semester is my, probably all my best semester by the end of this degree but it was also very easy to adapt to being at Nelson Mandela University because it was very it was like a, the whole group was very diverse different people so you don't really feel like an outsider because it's almost like everyone was an outsider so many different people from different places so that was great I didn't struggle with it and I made friends I met a lot of good colleagues in my class uh, and then going into my second year second year I was very tough compared to first year second year was very tough it became like real pharmacy business and everything was difficult and marks dropped a lot by a lot uh, I had to adjust expectations because after first year my expectations were like uh, crazy expectations unreal so uh, it was really tough but I still managed to do well in my second year I did very good I still did better than I expected I ever would and it was more difficult it was more pharmacy more pharmacy like modules compared to first year and at the end of my second year I had an issue problem because I ran out of savings the savings I had for my fees were like out and I had no plan and in December I was very stressed I didn't know what to do I just at that point I thought it was over and I was gonna have to wait for some years again and I didn't know what to do when I was at home and I just thought I was gonna make an appeal online which was very difficult to do because I don't know it was just very difficult to do but you know one morning I just put it on Facebook with my marks with everything and asked for people to help me with fees and the response I got shocked me like I didn't expect so many people to care but hundreds of thousands of people con of people contributed and by January when we started university I had enough money to register I had, I had enough money to cover me my first semester and part of my second and that really shocked me like that was uh, an unreal experience. I didn't know that so many people could help me. So many people from different places did so much for me. And it's not something, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. But I was glad I started my third year. And third year was also, it was challenging. Just like second, probably even more challenging. And, but I still gave my best and I tried and I think I did, uh, pretty well my third year and uh, I still have like for me the biggest problem through my pharmacy studying has not really been the academic side of things it has just always been the finances and all the other things happening through life but it was tough throughout to balance everything to balance managing how you feel maybe you're going through a lot in life and you still have to study no matter what's happening in life you got to study you've got to finish you've got to handle the business and it that has been tough to balance sometimes it was very difficult but i think i've always been lucky to just manage to work it all out and balance it out and make sure that i don't lose my focus with school uh, and yeah uh going into my fourth year i still had the same problems like at the ones i had at the end of my third year but I think I just got used to having to live with that and fourth year was fourth year is, has been 
it has been also tough because of, because of the situation right now how different everything is you have to study from home but it's also been a blessing i think it's much easier to study from home and it's much easier to write tests and all of that so it's kind of been like a blessing to have to be at home i think it would be much tougher if you were at university so i'm grateful for that but overall my famous experience has been good Nelson Mandela University has been a good place to study I met so many people from different places, made friends, met colleagues and I didn't feel like an outsider that's one fear I had because I thought that was gonna be like an old person out there and he was not like that at all and yeah, pharmacy has been good to me, pharmacy has been good to me so far the next question is, uh, what has been my highlight uh, so far? And I'd say my highlight is, my highlight, my biggest highlight is when when everybody came together to help me to go to school. People I didn't know, people from different places, a lot of South Africans, a lot of people from other countries, people I have no relations with or anything, and they all helped me, and that was... I don't know, for me very eye-opening and it was very shocking, I didn't expect that and that has to be the biggest thing, if I didn't have that I wouldn't be here talking about being a pharmacy student because I really was rock bottom at that time I think uh, academically, I've been, I think my pharmacy experience so far has been a highlight reel like it's just been highlight after highlight in a way don't mean to brag, but yeah, I, I've done pretty well I uh, so far up to the 27 modules I have 26 of them have been distinctions, so that's something I never thought I would get. I mean, I just thought I would do well, and what I did is way beyond my expectations. And the next question is uh, what has been my low light? Uh, um, I mean, I, I have had a good experience at pharmacy, I don't think I have any many low lights to talk about, pharmacy related. Uh, I think. The academics have gone well, I've I don't know, met a lot of good people there, the lecturers have been good too, so it's been a good experience pharmacy wise. Uh, but yeah, I think just financial desperation for me has been my low light, like I've had to deal with it most of the time through it. I study, I'm always wondering am I going to finish this semester, am I going to register, am I going to start the next year, and I think it, it's affected me a lot, I mean, I've given all my all to just work and do my best through it but yeah, that has been something which has been which has dragged me down all the way it's just been difficult it's difficult not to know what you're going to do next year it's difficult not to know if you finish but mm, I think I'm grateful that I'm here now and I'm fourth year and I'm going to finish my degree so that has been difficult but I mean life is never easy and you just have to push through all those kind of things uh, the next question is what do I enjoy most about pharmacy and I'd say I mean I do appreciate pharmacy as a whole there is a lot to do in pharmacy there is uh, working in the community pharmacy where you take care of the patients and you provide clinical care to them and you that's very satisfying when you help someone uh, I enjoy that. I uh, worked in the pharmacy during my extensions for a few weeks throughout the four years and it's been fun. It's been, you feel good when you're able to really help someone who is in need of the help. It's, it's a good feeling but my favorite part of pharmacy is the research and drug discovery. I've always had the passion for that. I think that's the reason why I wanted to do pharmacy. That's my main goal that I would like to be involved in drug discovery, drug research and improving the drugs which are already there as well. And that's what I'm most in interested in and that's the part I enjoy the most. And I'm hoping that I can be involved in something like that when I finish my studies or when I progress my studies and go into working. That's something I'm really interested in. Uh, the next question is uh, what would be my advice to someone who's starting off? Uh, I think for me, for someone who's starting off as a pharmacy student, I'd say you have to find what works for you, what study methods are going to work for you and once you find that you have to be consistent, you have to 
know what you have to do and do everything in time. I think you need to to find out like is it better for you when you listen to something, when you look at a picture or something like this. How how it works for you, how best to remember things, how best to understand things. And it's always important to understand first before remembering. I mean you can cram and pass, but the things that you study are always gonna come up. What you study in the second year is gonna come up in the third year, in the fourth year. So if you just cram it, you remember it, and then you pass the test, yeah, you, it's good for that time. But at some point, you're gonna have to remember it again. If you didn't understand it, it's gonna be difficult to to under, to try to to study it again when you're in fourth year and you need to use it. So it's always understand something first, and then you can try to remember it for passing but first it's always important to understand what you're doing I would also say it's important to treat the weekly tests as very, very like your semester tests and when you get your semester tests, tests you treat them like exams and when it's finally the exam it's, it's much easier than than what it would be if you select the whole semester and then you're trying to work hard and to cover up and recover and get a good mark at the end of the semester if you're just consistent with your work and you're always working every week you got hours set aside to do this and you take everything seriously it's gonna be easier at the end it's gonna be easy to remember it's gonna be easier to just go through the notes because you you have a memory of everything you know and once you just read once talk comes back to you when you take everything seriously throughout rather than waiting until it's last minute to try to to do very well I'd also say it's important to set a standard for yourself, just to set goals for yourself that I want to achieve this in my degree, whether it's pharmacy experience related, how you want to be as a someone who's going to work in a pharmacy, or whether it's marks wise, what kind of marks you want to achieve. You just have to set some kind of standard, some kind of goal for yourself, like I want to achieve this to make a picture of what you want to achieve what you want to achieve and so when you're studying every day when you're working every day when you go to the extension and you you're working you're working on that you're working towards some kind of goal rather than just take everything as it comes mm, i also think when you're setting the goals that you want to set you have to make them realistic goals sometimes you can set very high goals for yourself and it if it's not working it might i don't know it might depress you it might make you make you sad that you're not getting this but maybe you said something which is really difficult to achieve so I'll take it for me I after my first year my first year was very good and I averaged 89 point something 19 I was like oh I was very cocky I was like okay mm, I want to average 90 for my degree but <laughs> then I went to my second year and second year was a different thing third year was a different thing and the marks had to drop like there was no way to maintain them and at some point in my second year I kept on saying now nah, want to achieve this and it became very difficult and some I think I was very disappointed in myself at some point yeah, but, but then I adjusted my expectations I like changed them I like okay I want to achieve these marks and I was able to work with that and to achieve it and it's still something good something satisfying but I was also not stressed and not feeling like I'm fail I failed myself because I adjusted what I want to have and I set it to something which I can achieve which is also something good and it's not to say that you should have low expectations but you should not put yourself in a tight situation the next question is uh, what are some of the misconceptions and some of the assumptions people have about pharmacy uh, I'd say people around you or even family and friends see pharmacy as more like pill pushing like you just sell medicine like you're a shopkeeper in a medicine shop and that's all you do and it's a lot more than that I mean even the medicine there is a lot that goes to giving a patient medicine you have to look at a lot of things about the patient what food do they eat what what other medicines are they taking a lot of things can go wrong with medicine even if it's simple medicine there's a lot of things that you have to know to be able to give someone medicine safely so it's a lot more than just giving people medicine from the shelf and just giving it to them I mean, there is a lot that you have to do, even in the community pharmacy, there is a lot that you have to do before you give that person medicine to make sure that it's safe. There is a lot that you have to do and it's not just giving medicine. And uh, 
there is also a lot to pharmacy there is manufacturing there is research there is legislation there is and there is a lot of things related to pharmacy which one can do business and all of that it's not just pharmacy and pill pushing and it's a very broad profession and it's very important it's a lot of time disrespected but it's very important and it's more than just pushing people. and uh, my last the last question i have uh, is uh asking what's the difference between uh pharmacist and uh, the pharmacist assistant and the difference is just in the scope of who can do what um the pharmacist assistant is all trained and they can do a lot of things in the pharmacy but for a lot of things that i trained for their scope they need some supervision by a pharmacist in a lot of things that they have to do they can do a lot of things with the sign up for the pharmacist and i think there's a lot that the pharmacist is involved in in the managing of the pharmacy like there is also uh, medicines with a higher schedule which are more risky that is the pharmacist's role to handle those and managing the pharmacy ensuring that everything is running smoothly ensuring that the assistants are doing what they're supposed to do and also I don't know, managing everything like managing uh, stock and overseeing everything the pharmacist is an overseer of a lot of things and the pharmacist also has a very important role in counseling because pharmacists do study for longer and they know more and they have a very important role in counseling which sometimes cannot be filled by their, their pharmacist assistants so in as much as pharmacist assistants have a lot that they do in the pharmacy they have a lot of things that they the pharmacists can do the assistants can do but there is certain things where a pharmacist has more experience is more knowledge and it's always important to have pharmacists in the pharmacy overseeing everything uh, thank you everyone for listening to what i had to say about pharmacy and for those who are going to pursue a career in pharmacy we're going to start studying pharmacy i hope it helps you a little bit and i wish you the best in your endeavors. Thank you.